immersive world crafters. Today I'm going to be showing you how I create these fantastic moss effects on the corrugated metal panel that I did last time. So first of all I'm going to be using AK Interactive's moss deposits and we're going to be using some light slime and also the dark grime and slime from AK Interactive 2. We're going to need some gloss varnish. And lastly, some foam flock. This one's from Luke's APS, the dark green flock 2 in 1. And the foam flock from Woodland Scenics will work just as well too. So one of the things we need to be doing with the flock is we need to sieve it. So I'm going to get a couple of clumps of the 2-in-1 dark flock. Just pop that into the sieve. Like so. And then just gently shake that over a pot so that we can get a nice finely sieved deposits of moss for our moss effect. Just shaking it from side to side, just getting the dusty bits out. And then at the end we can just rub our fingers along the material to try and get a few more of the little bits out and we are then just left with the final bits of clump which we can put back in the pot and it should look a little something like that it doesn't matter if you've got a few little bits of clump in there I'll add to the finish now what I'm doing now is just going very liberally with the gloss varnish all over the bottom part of the panel and now it's the moss deposits from AK Interactive and I'm just putting that on above where I've put the varnish and then just kind of feathering it in a little into the varnish so using the varnish as a, as a bit of a, a dilution really uh, now sprinkle the flock, the foam flock over all of the areas where we have that varnish and I'm just pushing it in with the bottom of a paintbrush just to push it into all of those little recesses. After a quick shake off, that's what you should be looking like at this stage. Now I'm going back in with more gloss varnish. That's going to seal what we've got on there already and make it shiny. And then I'm also just applying some of the dark grime and slime from AK Interactive. Now I'm going in with the lighter grime and slime and just picking out just a few little bits just to highlight and break up some of that dark colour. And there we have it. We have a nice section of mossy grime and slime all down that bottom area of the panel where it's been sitting in the mud and the water and the grime of the underhive.